Hello. Right, so I'm going to spend a little bit of time, just uh, five minutes or so, just going through some assisted neck stretches. I know they're not everyone's cup of tea, but for some people um, who might be suffering with um, stiff necks, stiff shoulders, perhaps uh, just general achiness, perhaps they've just been spending too much time at home slumping or reading, so their head is in or on the computer, so the head is in a certain position, it can generate this stiffness that, that creeps up. So I'm going to do some assisted neck stretches. Um, just please take your time when you're doing the stretches. You're in control of the stretch, so just take care of yourself. And obviously, if something hurts, if you're not comfortable doing something, then you don't need to do it. Right, okay. So first thing I'm going to ask you to do is you're going to stick one hand and sit on that hand. What this does is it keeps this shoulder down. When we do usual neck stretches, what tends to happen is your shoulders start to move around. And we don't want to be moving shoulders. We don't want to be moving the torso. We want to be moving the head. So this keeps the shoulder down. So the first one we're going to do is a side neck stretch. We're going to try and sit up nice and tall. This other hand is going to go over the top and then aim for the top of the ear. And then you're just going to gently pull that head across, just applying some pressure, some gentle pressure, until you start to feel that stretch all the way from the ear, all the way down the side of the neck and into the top of the shoulder. I'm just going to hold that position. So sometimes just the, the very nature of having an additional, um, the, the weight of your hand on the side of your head is enough. You don't actually need to pull the head across. And you'll see what I mean now about keeping that shoulder down. If you were to do this without sitting on your hand, that shoulder will ride up and then reduce and negate that stretch. And I'm just going to gently ease out of that. And then we're going to do the other side. So just switch over, sit on your other, other hand. Again, just try and keep nice and tall. We don't want to be slouching. The other hand goes over the top, aiming for the ear. And then again, just gently pulling across applying just a little bit of pressure to the head so you get that really good stretch down the side of the neck and into the top of the shoulder. We're just going to hold that position just for a few moments. Again, sometimes just the weight of the hand on the side of the head is enough. Sometimes there is just a little bit of um, additional pressure, that pulling movement to try and um, increase that or intensify that stretch but you're in control you can do what you like so we're going to gently ease out of that and come out of there so the next one is, is, a, is a twist and um, it's a little bit fiddly so we're going to sit back on our other hand okay so what we're going to do is with the other hand we're going to reach up the front of the face across the top and we're trying to get our fingertips on that bulbous bit of our um, skull at the back. And then we're going to turn our head into the bicep and then we're going to apply some pressure as we pull down on that sticky out bit of the skull, that bit at the back, and gently pull down. So again, we're keeping the shoulder that down, the, the, the arm that we're sat on, it stops that arm riding up. And we're applying some pressure now, it's, it's, it says at an angle as well. So there's a little bit of a twist, which then intensifies that stretch more around the back of the neck. There is some into the side, but also into the back of the neck as well. So we're going to gently ease up, come back to the centre and release. And now we're going to do the other side. So again, just switching over, sitting up nice and tall, hand at the front of the face, over the top and again aiming for that sticky out bit, that bulbous bit at the back of the back of the skull. I'm going to turn into the bicep and then pull down. So we've created that angle and then we pull down. Keeping the shoulder depressed and just applying what pressure you think you need to feel that stretch now through the through the back of the neck, through the side of the neck, you might be feeling it through the shoulder blade. Still trying to keep the torso upright, so we don't want to be leaning forward through the shoulders or through the upper back. We're pulling down on the head or applying pressure to the head, so the movement is just from the neck upwards, not from the neck downwards. And we're just going to ease out of that 
come back to the centre and release there. We're going to try and get right into the, the back of the neck now. The, that strip of muscle that comes from the base of the skull in between, uh, sorry, around, down the back of the neck and in between your shoulder blades. So again, a little bit silly this one. For this one, we're not going to be sitting on our hands and therefore it's tempting for the shoulders and for the upper body to come forward. So I just want you to have it in your, in your mind, in your head, that it's just your head that's moving. So a hand, and I don't mind which, in front of your face, on the top of your head. And again, aiming for that bulbous bit of your skull. You're trying to get your fingertips just underneath that ridge. Try and keep your head forwards in a line. Now apply that pressure. So we're dropping our chin to the chest and applying that pressure to the back of the head to really get deep into the base of the skull now. Back of the neck maybe into the, in the top of the shoulder blades, across the top of the shoulders. But remember, you're not leaning forwards in the torso. You're not rounding your shoulders forward. You're still trying to keep your spine nice and tall, but the head is coming down and your chin is, is coming towards your chest. And I'm going to gently release and come out of that. Okay, the final to the system next stretch we're going to do is turning to the left and to the right. So we're going to, again, we're going to sit up nice and tall. We're moving the head, we're not moving the shoulders. Just placing the hand just on the side of your face. We're going to turn the head. When you can't go any further, now start to apply some pressure either to the cheekbone or to the side of the jaw. Remember, we're not rolling the shoulders, we're not rotating the shoulders. We're just pushing through the through the cheek to increase that twist, that turn. And then we're going to gently release, come back to centre, let go. We're going to do the other side. So again, just hand on the side of your face, make sure you're sat up nice and tall. First of all, we're going to turn, and then when you can't go any further, then start to apply that pressure on the cheekbone or the side of the jaw, just to hold that stretch, just to just to apply a little bit of additional pressure to, to intensify that, that stretch. And then we're going to come back through to the center. So there's a couple of assisted neck stretches there. Um, and if it has just eased any tension, any stiffness through the neck, I hope you've enjoyed them. Thank you very much. Take care.